Okay, so the other day some of you may have seen my video showing Mac OS X Lion running on a Windows PC. And this is the tutorial for installing Lion in VMware that I mentioned in that um, video. And the reason that it's only a virtual machine at the moment and not the full system is because it takes too long to put into a video. And there is also several problems with the actual full installation that I've found recently, so I'm working on a fix for those. But this shows how to install Lion. Um, in VMware using VMware Workstation or VMware Player on whichever operating system you like. And one thing to mention very quickly is that I couldn't fit the entire um, process into one video. So this video shows you how to actually install Lion and for any further patches there's a couple of things that you should do afterwards. Um, for example fixing sound and fixing the graphics and they're in the video that's linked in the bottom corner of this video so um, I would recommend that you go to there afterwards and do that because that only takes like four minutes four or five minutes to actually do so it's worth it because it enables you full graphics and stuff and fixes sound so to start with you want VMware Player or Workstation or Fusion or whatever VMware it is installed on your computer and you also want to download the torrent link in the description and you should get this file from this um, from that the OSX Lion VMware image which is actually um, a 7-zip SFX file so it's a self extractor and basically you just double click it and press OK and you'll end up with this folder here and you want to open that up and just check that um, you have these files so the VMware patch, the Lion and the post install actions Post install actions, as I said earlier, um, are for the second video, so you don't need to pay attention to those at the moment. And first things first, Windows users open up a command window in the VMware patch folder, so just hold shift and press right click and just open command window. And let me just open it up now. For Linux and Mac users, open up the README text um, and also Windows if you need any further clarification and it details how to do this step on each different operating system so VMware Fusion, um, Workstation for Linux as you can see so just check there and there is also three quick um, frequently asked questions that I keep getting about problems so um, check those if you come to a problem and just read those before you actually contact me and if you do get to the point where you need to contact me jump down to the bottom and you'll see my email address, my Twitter and my YouTube in case you've lost that. So you can get in contact with me there. And I recommend my Twitter because I check that um, more than I check the others. So if you have any problems just let me know. Okay so now what you want to do is you want to, as I said, follow the instructions in the readme text for Linux and Mac and Windows users just want to type in Windows BAT and press enter and it'll run automatically through this very quickly and what this basically does is allow Mac hosts on um, allow Mac guests on a non Mac system and you can see that's the extent of that and as soon as you get back to the point where you can tap in your command just close that and go back to the main folder and go to Lion and open up the VMX file. So just double click it. Okay, so once you get to this point, you want to go to Edit Virtual Machine Settings on the left. and then you want to allocate the memory that you want to give. Um, I'm going to leave mine at 1024 megabytes just because I don't mind that speed and I'm not going to go through the full install, well I'm going to go through it but I'm going to pause at times to make it faster. And you want to add a hard disk um, so just press add on the bottom and go on hard disk and press next and press use existing virtual disk and press next and browse for the disk file which is in the Mac OS X Lion um, folder so you can see here the uh, Lion Experimental VMDK um, and now, uh, one thing to note is that although it says experimental in the name um, it's stable, don't worry about that so just do, double click that and press finish and 
let me just check that we've got everything there. Um, yes, I think so. And you just want to press OK and power on your machine. So just to clarify, this video actually will show you how to install Lion. And once you get this message just here, just press OK. And um, Lion does work properly, um, so you can use it with limited like stuff because there's no sound. Obviously, the patches will fix this, which are in the next video. But um, you actually have a running system after doing this. So maybe if you aren't that bothered about patches, you don't have to watch that. But I recommend you might as well do it anyway. So. And also su subscribe to my channel, please, um, or like videos and comment and stuff because it's great to have feedback from you guys. And um, yeah, it's just good to see if I'm doing stuff wrong or if I'm having a positive effect on people. So either leave me a comment or like a video or dislike it, whichever. And subscribe for cool stuff in future. And there will obviously be the uh, whole um, install Lion on PCs. Thing coming out soon hopefully if I get it to 15 minutes um, because it's taking me like 40 minutes to go through at the moment so that's not a good thing but you can see here um, we're just booting into Lion because it automatically boots the second hard disk which is the one you connected which is actually a Lion install disk that I've created um, with patches built into it so I'm just gonna use English as the main language and press next and you'll see it opens up and prepares the installation. Um, one thing to very quickly mention, although it's not a major problem, is that it, this um, boot disk is actually designated as a server edition. So you're allowed to inst you're allowed to select the server in installation um, like packages, but they don't work, so don't bother. So just pre uh, quickly press continue and agree and on here you'll get um, a Macintosh like a, you'll get your disk drive um, for the Mac installation just go up to utilities and go to disk utility and you want to wipe that disk so make sure you hit the right one because if you hit so you want this, um, the uh, one that doesn't have the line installer partition so the VMware drive so just click that and press erase and make sure you go to OS, OS Extended Journal and I'm just going to call mine Macintosh HD although you can name it whatever you want so I'm just going to press Erase and Erase again and make sure that it goes to the GUID partition table and it, the size doesn't matter because you can always change that in future but I recommend um, the 40 gig starting drive that I've allocated at least and so close that once it's done and then select the um, disk and press customize so you don't actually have to customize anything here unless you want to get rid of x11 um, but I recommend keep x11 and as I said earlier there's the server admin tools but you can't actually install them because it's not there it's just de designated server so just press ok and then press install and your Mac will start installing now, in order to um, in order to save time, what I'm actually going to do is just pause my video right now because there's no point making you sit through 17 minutes. And as soon as it gets to the end of the installation, I will go back to recording and just quickly show you how to set up. So I will see you guys in a few minutes. Okay, so what just happened then is that my um, VM restarted after the installation and what you want to do now is go to the settings for the VM and you want to remove the second hard disk of 5 gigabytes um, which is the Lion experimental hard disk you just want to remove that uh, press OK and then reset your machine and you can see um, hopefully in a second it should boot up into Lion and if you want to at this point you can go to the starting folder 
and you can remove the Lion Experimental VMDK so you can just delete that and um, just wait for Lion to boot up I'm not too sure why it's taking this long um, it doesn't normally but um, I have a suspicion that it's because I'm recording um, my screen at the same time so it's, it's obviously slowing my computer down and I also don't have that much RAM allocated Oh, okay, there we go. I think it's booted now. Um, usually, it doesn't take that long to boot. It's just because it's the um, first boot after install, so it's not normally that slow. Right. So now we should get the registration um, part of the installation, and you can fill this in however you like. Um, you can put in your real information if you want. Um, you can put fake information in, and you can't change this unless you. Um, take a snapshot here um, but I, if I were you I'd just take a snapshot a bit later so basically what I'm just going to do now is once this is fully there we go loaded cool right so just sign up however you like um, obviously make sure you select the correct stuff that you want I'm just skipping through here very quickly to show you so if I just put full name, Zach, account name is Zach, and then I'll just leave the password. And it will create the account. And then it should boot up into Lion very quickly. So it connects to Apple. and we get the time zone stuff continue and start and then we should boot up into lion about many second now right so once we're at this point I recommend just going up here, um, you see where my mouse is, and going to this um, button here which is take snapshot and just click that and call it like um, fresh installation or something and just press OK and it will save the snapshot and basically what that does is if you ever encounter problems in the future you can revert to the snapshot and it just puts you back here um, with nothing installed afterwards, it, it's in this exact state um, of the machine so you'll be on a fresh installation so you can just revert back if you have any problems um, obviously this is very useful and yeah that's all there is to it so that is um, Lion now running under VM um, you can see um, if I scroll down and just let it fully boot up because it isn't booted yet I don't think um, so you can see we have the App Store and the Springboard um, not the Springboard um, what's it called, launchpad and everything there um, so as I said earlier I recommend you now click the video that's in the bottom corner and go to the patch section and patch the machine although that isn't actually a requirement and you can use it as it is now but I, I would rec recommend doing it because it allows you to use full screen and change resolution and stuff um, but other than that thank you for watching my video remember to subscribe and also remember to see the torrent please because that's always important uh, and if you have any problems, let me know. But otherwise, um, I'll see you in the next video, which for some of you will be the patch video and others won't. But anyway, see you around and thanks for watching. Bye.